What's up guys, Thomas here, welcome to the channel. I just wanna give some info about an update from Adobe CC or Adobe Creative Cloud. So a couple of months ago, Adobe made a significant update for Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Media Encoder. So if you're using Premiere Pro for your editing software and you wanna export your project to the highest quality possible, you can now export ProRes codec in any Windows laptop or computer. And maybe you're asking what is ProRes? Why do I need to export in ProRes? How can I take advantage of this? ProRes is a very high quality video codec made by Apple. It has become the gold standard in filmmaking, especially for short films, wedding films, or commercial projects. It is a very versatile codec. It is good for editing, color grading, archiving, deliveries, and for example, you want to deliver your wedding film to a client, just export it to ProRes so that they can have the best quality. Before, you can only do this with Mac computers. You can also do it with Windows, but you still need to buy a third-party plugin, install it, and it's just an extra step and it will cost you more money. So I just wanna show you guys how we can take advantage of this ProRes video codec. I already have my Premiere Pro open here and imported a file right here. Uh, it's a 4K file, 10 bit 422. And I also have my sequence here ready. It is set to 1080p, 24 frames per second, or 23.976. So I'm just gonna drag this here. Keep existing settings because I want the 1080p. Again, this is a 4K file. I'm just gonna resize that. I'm gonna right click here, properties, and the video codec is H.264 10 bit 422. For my laptop, that's already a, a big file. It's heavy for my computer to, to process that or to edit that. If you will see here in my timeline, I'm gonna press play. We don't need the audio. And there you go. It's yeah, it's lagging pretty bad. Even though you scrub this, you can see it's not even moving. So if you're editing something and you have this kind of footage, it can be frustrating and it's very difficult to work with. So what we can do about this, we can create proxies. So basically proxies is a duplicate of your footage but in a smaller file, in a small manageable file so that your computer can easily edit it. And we're gonna start doing that. So go to our file, right click, proxy, create proxies. And this thing will show up. For format, let's go format. We have two choices, H.264 or QuickTime. We're gonna choose QuickTime. And for preset, I already made a preset and I'm just gonna use that. If you wanna learn more about proxy presets, I will link a video down in the description. Uh, it is made by Matt, who is Matt Johnson. That's his YouTube channel. He's also a wedding filmmaker. Um, he showed in that video what's the best way to make a proxy presets. Go check his channel and you will learn a lot of stuff about wedding. Okay, then hit okay. Now media encoder is gonna open up and it's gonna automatically transcode your file to a proxy file. Now you know it's done because it says done and there's a check mark. Now we're just gonna close this. So now we're back here in Premiere and how do you know when your proxies are activated? Just go here to your right side of your screen, see this plus icon, click that, and there's another icon right here. It says toggle proxies. Now you wanna drag that down together with these other functions here or buttons. Just click OK. And now just click this toggle proxies and you will notice once I press play here, now it's running smoothly. Now it's 
this one is easier to edit rather than the H.264 now your proxy is already working again when you right click this go to properties now you will see the proxy media is already attached to it that's why you want to use proxies when you're editing it's way 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 easier let's talk about archiving so let's say you're done with the project here and you want to export let's try exporting this to ProRes so want to set your in and out points go to file export media now your export settings will show up and we're gonna fix the settings here for format we're gonna choose QuickTime preset we're gonna choose the ProRes 422HQ now there's a bunch of uh, uh, codecs here your ProRes LT ProRes Proxy ProRes 422 and yeah ProRes 444 now we're just gonna choose the Apple ProRes 422 down here in the video section choose render at maximum depth click that and then make sure this box right here use maximum render quality is also checked and we're just gonna change the name here I'm just gonna name this ProRes save it on desktop and hit export So you're done with your project and you export it to ProRes because you want the highest quality, right? And you want to save that for your master file in your archive. So now, let's say you have a new project and you want to add a specific clip from your old video. You can easily do that because remember, you made a ProRes file and save it from your archive. That ProRes file, since it's a high quality file, you can just drag that to your timeline and add that specific clip and there's going to be no quality loss because remember we exported that to ProRes so I really hope you guys get something from this video I know this is not super technical but this is for people who are trying to get into filmmaking industry comment down below let me know what you think and I will reply as soon as I can. If you want to support this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be making more videos like this, reviews, tutorials, and I will see you to the next video.